there, um, welcome back. So I recently treated myself to this brand new set of nine pastel shades from White Nights. I think they've just recently been released. I was excited to get my hands on them and see what they were like. You can see in the palette behind me there that I also have a set of metallics which are also by White Nights and I will cover those in another video. Um, White Nights are really some becoming some of my favourite watercolours at the moment. The price point is great in terms of what you get for professional quality watercolours and the sizes. These are whole pans, not half pans. And I feel like the colours are quite saturated as well. Um, don't get me wrong, I love my Daniel Smith and Schmincke paints, but these are really becoming some of my favourite ones as well. For this whole nine set of nine whole pans, here in the UK it was only about £14.50, which is a really great deal. It's only a little bit over what £1.50 for a whole pan, which is super cheap. Um, I do want to point out that I am not sponsored for this video. I just bought these paints myself and I thought that I would try them out on camera so that you guys could see them as well. So as I unwrapped them, I wrote the names on the sides in Sharpie just so that I don't get them muddled up in future, which actually has happened to me in the past. And um, now I'm swatching them out onto paper. You can see that the colours are really lovely. Um, I especially love the mint, the mint green, which will be coming up in a little bit. It's like a really pale, super light aqua teal kind of colour, which is one of my favourite colours anyway. And, um, and also I think some of the other ones, like the coral dunes and the rose quartz, would be really nice to um, be used in mixing skin tones. I um, have been experimenting recently with mixing skin tones in watercolour by adding some white anyway. Um, and I know that this reduces the transparency of watercolours, but it's a kind of a different effect that you get. And in actual fact, these pigments do have white added to them in order to create the pastel tones. If you look at the pigment information on the paper, you will see that there is pigment white added to these colours. But I really don't feel that it's made them overly chalky or even overly opaque. They are obviously more opaque, but they're not chalky like some of the cheaper makes of crafty watercolours that you get in these pastel colours. I do need to point out that they do not come supplied with a box. I bought the box separately. I think it was only about £5 and both the paints and the box came from the SAA, which is the Society of All Artists. Um, here in the UK, it's um, got an online shop where you can buy art supplies. And if you are a member of them, which I am because I have my liability insurance to them, then you get free postage, which is super handy. The box itself is designed specifically for the White Knights pans, I think, rather than just any generic watercolour pans. Um, but this is me onto my second box, so I clearly have a little bit of a problem when it comes to buying watercolour paints. So I'm just experimenting with kind of random lead shapes here, um, just painted randomly. I'm using a round brush, which also came from the SAA. It was in a set of eight. I think the whole set was about £28. It is a synthetic watercolour brush, um, but I'm actually really enjoying these brushes that I've got. They give you a really nice fine point. Um, even with the larger ones so that's a bonus and um, and I really can't wait to try these paints out for some other projects. I think that they would look really nice used in kind of children's book fairy tale style illustrations. The, the colours aren't as dark as some of my other White Nights paints and um, by dark, I guess I mean saturated. The colours aren't coming out like super saturated on the paper, but I think that is just by 
um, nature of them being pastel shades, um, that they're coming out looking much lighter. So I'm going to just leave you with some music and the rest of the video while you can watch me paint these leaves. And, um, and I'll see you in the next video. I don't know if the metallic set will be the next video or not, depends which one I got onto. But if you do want to follow my channel, I would really greatly appreciate it. And um, if you want to hit the subscribe button, that would be super appreciated as well. If you are not yet a member of my Facebook group, I will leave the link for it in the description below. I have my own Facebook group where you can post work that you've done in any of my online classes over at Lucy's Art Lab or in, um, in response to any paintings that I've done. So for example, just recent, recently, there's been some lovely work that students have done where they've been following along with my YouTube videos and doing their own versions. And I always love to see that. It's especially nice when you put it in my group and tag me in it so I can see, you know, I can see what, um, what people have been creating. So I'll see you in the next video. And thank you very much for watching this one. Any questions that you've got, feel free to ask me below and I will do my best to answer them. And um, have a nice week. Okay, bye. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Huh. Keep losing sleep while driving in the backseat. What's left of me?